But, you know, part of it, what all of this speaks to, almost everything we talked about, I know we, we, we keep trying to have a, a day where we don't talk about nothing but AI, but this was not one of those days. <laughs> and um, as we as we close out, there was, you know, my, my favorite news story, we going all the way back talking about the Olympics is that Google and their Gemini, Gen AI product got in some hot water for, they've been running this whole series of ads, which overall I think have been really good. Um, I, I, you know, they were very contextual and they sort of fit in and you know, positive and uplifting about the Olympics and how Gen AI might play a, a role, but they had one particular ad where it was um, this man who was basically trying to, you know, the, the storyline was his daughter and wanting to write a, uh, a letter to her um, idol, who was an Olympic star or what have you, and and using Gen AI, Gemini to help write it. And just the internet being the internet blew up over this thing going, you know, what is this saying? And it's a, and, and, uh, and you, you seem to have a different reaction. I just, I thought it was like a bunch of, you know, hype over nothing. And it's, and, uh, but Google pulled the ad. And so, you know, here we go again, but, but you had a different take, I think, right? Yeah. So first of all, I am very emotional about the Olympics. I'm a total Olympics fanboy. Uh, the star in question for the Google ad. Uh, so this Google ad was writing a, uh, about a kid writing a fan letter to a star named Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni, who is the world record holder in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Like I could go into great detail on this, um, but suffice it to say, she is a you know amazing athlete, totally deserving of fan letters all day long, uh, totally changing the game. But uh, this ad showed how this kid was using AI to write the fan letter. And to me, it just felt like as a kid, not using your own words or not asking your parents for help and going straight to the AI, it just felt a little inhuman to me. <laughs> and I, I guess maybe this is where I, I'm finding out that I'm old and almost dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Luddite at this point, but there's a piece of me that said, oh, I wanted to see that kid figure it out with their own words, you know, come from the heart instead of coming from Gemini. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it's fair. It, it is fair. I mean, if, as a, if I put my father hat on and if my daughter wanted to write this letter, I would absolutely tell her, go pull out a piece of paper and, or maybe pull out the computer and, and, you know, just write what you feel. I get that. Now, in fairness, the ad did say it was the dad talking and how the dad wanted to help um, and said, you know, I'm good with words, but this needs to be perfect kind of an idea. And so I'm going to have it help me with my first draft. And, and, you know, look at, you can, I, I, to me, it's like, I think you can make the case either way about whether or not if I was the, the father, would I use it or not? But I also just thought the reaction was so overwhelmingly overblown. <laughs> it was like, Hey, look, AI, no different than, I mean, because there are plenty, my, my wife is one of these where it's like, if I were to tell um, our daughter, you know, go forward a few years and say, Hey, you know, go type an email. She'd be like, no, pull out a pen and a piece of paper. You got to handwrite this thing. Right. It's like every technology introduces that next sort of level of it's like, well, should we use it or not? And at the end of the day, it's just technology. We use it however it makes sense. So I, I just found it ironic and sort of hilarious that there's just massive explosion over this it's like folks <laughs> it's a it's an ai tool b it's an ad it's like get over it yeah you know next up though is going to be a hundred million form letters to santa all saying the exact same thing with the same format <laughs> coming from Ch chat gpt and uh, gemini you know <laughs> you know if, if my daughter uses ai to write some python code to automate santa writing letters with the theory that if, if she bombards santa with a thousand letters she's more likely to get what she wants i'm applauding this ingenuity you know it's like use the technology and, and make yourself productive <laughs> <laughs> hey if they're taking that next step that's something else <laughs> Wow. Well, oh, okay, so here we are teaching the next generation how to take full advantage of generative AI and Google uh, taking a bit of a hit for that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah.